What's up, New York City? How's everyone doing today? Please welcome UN Messenger of Peace for Climate Action, Leonardo DiCaprio. Tonight, the world is watching. We have gathered here tonight to commit ourselves to these global goals to build a future in which shelter, food, clean water, education, and basic medical care are seen no longer as privileges for some, but as inalienable human rights for all. But our efforts here will be in vain if we do not also address the forces that are threatening to destroy our very planet. Humanity's only home. The debate is now over. Recently, the UN's panel on climate change issued a historic report. It concluded without equivocation that climate change is occurring on all of our continents and in all of our seas, driving ocean acidification, the destruction of our ice sheets, desertification, hurricanes, and catastrophic heat waves. Now, this is hardly new news to any of us, but it went on to say that the first people to suffer the effects of these calamities, the first in the global line of fire, will be the world's poor and most marginalized. 2015 was the hottest year in recorded history. What will this bring to humanity? Experts are predicting that in Africa alone, 50 million children will be malnourished in the coming decades. As climate, poverty are the two dominant factors in food insecurity in South Africa. Right now, Europe is paralyzed trying to absorb the influx of millions of Syrian refugees, but more than a billion people, most of them in Asia, currently live in low-lying coastal regions. What will happen when they become sea-level refugees? Where will they go? That's why tonight, the world needs to manifest change. The number of natural disasters between 2000 and 2009 was roughly three times greater than it had been in the 1980s. According to the Red Cross, the growth is almost entirely due to climate change. But the truth is, we do have solutions within our grasp. Using existing renewable energy technologies, we can meet 100% of the world's energy demand by 2050. Think of that. We could bring electricity to the world's poor and spare them the threat of a man-made catastrophe. All it takes is the will of all of us. But right now, powerful fossil fuel interests are still fighting to monetize the trillions of dollars of carbon they own that is still left underground. This December, world leaders will convene in Paris to sign an agreement for an unprecedented global cooperation to address climate change. I'm gonna be there. We need to take the steps to confront this all-too-human disaster together. We are running out of time, and it is now incumbent upon all of us, all of you, activists young and old, to please get involved, because the environment and the fight for the world's poor are, inherent, are inherently linked. The planet can no longer wait. The underprivileged can no longer be ignored. This is truly our moment for action. Please take action. Thank you very much.